Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about time invariant and time variant systems. Fine. So first of all, you should know about time invariance property. So time invariance is the property of a system which makes the behavior of the system independent of the time. Fine. It means what? The property of time invariance refers to the system's ability to maintain consistent behavior regardless of the specific time at which the input is applied. Or in a more simple way, this characteristic ensures that the system's output remains unaffected by changes in time. Okay. So basically, in context of discrete time system, time invariance is commonly referred to as shift invariance also. So in some of the textbook, you will see time invariant and time variant system and somewhere you will see shift invariant and shift varying systems also. So both are same. Fine. So when can you say that a system is considered time invariant so a system is considered as time invariant when its input output characteristics remain constant over time okay means if its input output characteristic does not change with time then we can say that a system is what time invariant system not varying with the time right so if so, so a relaxed system H, right, is time invariant or shift invariant if and only if H of H of H means what? Transform of X of N is equal to what? Y of N, right? If this is equal to this, then then transform of X of n minus m should be equal to what y of n minus m okay so for every input signal x of n and every time shift m this rule is applicable is it clear fine so let's move further and see more so in time invariant systems if if y of n is equal to transform of x of n then y of n minus m must be equal to transform of x of n minus m you should remember this particular point clear this is what then we can say our system is what time invariant system so if the system does not satisfy the above conditions then it is called as what time variant system or time varying system clear and a time invariant system is also called as a fixed system so you should also remember this point so basically what is the overall point here so name itself defined time invariant system means if there is a change of time also you know the system will maintain the consistent behavior or the system's output remains unaffected by changes in time hope it is clear to you so when we will solve the numericals then it will be more clear to you don't worry about that now let's move further and do some more things like let's see the procedure for testing time invariancy fine okay so let x of n is what input let x of n is what uh, input and x of n minus m is what input delayed by m unit right input delayed by delayed by m unit fine then y of n is equal to transform of x of n 
this is basically what output output for the input x of n output for the input x of n am i right now let's move further and check some more thing now y of n this is comma m right y of n comma m means what basically this means output for the delayed input right so n comma m means transform of x of n minus m which is basically what y of n when x of n is equal to what x of n minus m so basically this y of n comma m is nothing but output for the delayed for the delayed input x of n minus m right is it clear fine now we have y of we have to calculate y of n minus m so this y of n minus m is what it is y of n when n is equal to n minus m it means output here this is what output delayed by m units output delayed by m units fine so you should aware about these two things fine this is what actually output delayed by m units and y of n minus uh, y of n comma m is what basically output for the delayed input x of n minus m so you have to calculate these two things for a particular signal right or for a particular system if the equation is given to you and the question will be like test for the following system for time invariancy then you have to calculate these two things now the point here is if this two are equal if this two are equal then you can say that so this what is this and what is this so so if delayed output if the delayed output is equal to the output due to the delayed input for all possible values of m then the system is what then the system is what basically time invariant time invariant right and if these two are not equal then system is what system is basically time varying system or time variant so in the case of time variant you know if the delayed output is not equal to the output due to the delayed input then the system is what time variant system and for time invariant if delayed output is equal to the output due to the delayed input for all possible values of m then the system is time invariant system this is what you should aware about if it is not clear yet so wait for the next lecture in next lecture when i will explain you the numerical you will feel like oh it is so easy thing fine so thanks for watching this video if you have any concerns or questions you can ask in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much